Hey guys, Nerf Gun Reviewer 331 here. Now, uh, the point with this video is another custom classes, uh, my custom classes for Nerf. And uh, since this is a Busby gun and this is a next generation crossbow, they're not really technically Nerf, but this is a bandolier, so this is Nerf. Um, the main point of this video, though, I'm trying to prove that if you use toy guns in a fake zombie apocalypse, I think that I would, I would pretty much be set for like a while in my opinion but I came up with the the, uh, the problem with this class though is um, I came up with this class kinda quick so I didn't get a chance to think this th thoroughly I don't think I need that um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah so I'm gonna see how far how my I'm gonna see how I, I do in this video so first off I have the Busby t Rapid Fire Tech Dark Blaster and this is a pretty old gun. I still have it. I still had it this for like uh, when I was like seven or six, and it's still pretty in pretty good shape. Of course, I'm gonna have two of these clips if I can find the second one, and uh, a bunch of these shells. You know, the, the shells fit perfectly in the bandolier, which I found out just now. And uh, of course, all the shells are gonna be modified, and the darts as well. Well, maybe the, not the darts, but you know what I mean. Um. What else? Um, I'm also going to try to... Uh, the point with this class is it's a, it's a zombie apocalypse class and even though this really doesn't define the purpose of silenced but or silence or whatever, stealth, um, it, I personally think this, this would be a pretty good weapon for close range and if you had a ton of them at your hands, even though this shoots one dart but she was like a dart per couple of seconds. I personally think because of the style, it looks pretty cool. Dang it, phone. Um, I'll let that ring for a bit. So, uh, next up I have a crossbow. Now this is definitely stealth. This is completely stealth. I don't know why I'm repeating the same words again. The phone's distracting me. Um, so, hang on. Alright, so, that was just a phone call, um, uh, one of my parents called and was probably wondering what, what the heck was going on, um, so, the point, the point with the crossbow though, is, uh, since these darts shoot pretty far, but they are much different to a, a, a greater old Nerf dart, I'll give you an example, you can just tell by the size, these are a little bit longer, and these are a little, and these are a little bit bigger, so bigger and longer. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Um, acting serious again. The reason why I went with the crossbow, though, this has a ton of power, and so far it's still reliable. And I could put this in, shoot it, and be perfectly fine. I'm sure it makes a little bit of a noise, but if I were to sneak up on somebody and just go whoop, bam, you know, I could probably take them out. And uh, the sights do nothing to help, however. Kind of realize that. So, you see the sights, right? You just you aim down the sights and you shoot to like right about. Uh, right where. The, it's hard to explain, but if I were to shoot between the fan and the bed, it would go higher than that. So, you gotta aim lower. But if you aim lower, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, really, but. But really, I went with the crossbow and the shot, well, the repeater, I should say. The reason why I went with the repeater, because, first of all, it has shells and darts, which is really cool. And also, uh, despite the fact that it has, a, it can, like, have clips and everything, that's pretty cool, too. Also, what's really good about the crossbow, it shoots really far. The repeater is only good for, like, short range, slash, and or medium range. Medium range is kind of a 50-50 uh, chance. Short range is a 100% chance you're going to hit something. And what do you mean by sh what I mean by short range? I mean like if I were to say pick up this camera and I were to stand right here and to this door maybe maybe a little bit further than the door. So if I were to stand right here and go to say where that disc is, that green disc right over there, closest to me. 
Um, that might be a good enough close range. Far, medium range would probably be where from where I'm standing to the laundry basket, and then long range would be from here to the wall. Sorry for this. I'm, I'm trying to do two things at once. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, also, the reason why I went with the crossbow is because if you want to take out like multiple zombies, but you want to be very quiet about it. Um, I would also, I would be like, I could just pull this ready, if I can get it ready, just go, do, 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 and then pull the trigger. Uh, all the zombies would probably hear it, but it would be so, it would be kind of quiet compared to, you know, the repeater, where that one shot, and reloading is like super silent, yet firing is a little bit loud, while you're doing this. If you're doing that over and over again, you're going to make a lot of noise overall. But I go with the crossbow and the repeater. Repeater, like I said, is for short range slash medium range. Medium range, like I said, is 50-50 chance you're going to hit something. Crossbow's got a definite long range attack, let alone short range or medium range. It doesn't really matter because it shoots 60 feet, which I can believe now. And, um, yeah, that's really it. Also, the reason why I wanted the bandolier and the, banda the bandana or whatever this thing is called that I threw on the ground earlier is because so I have something to hold all my ammo so I don't stuff them in my pocket and everything. Here, so I'm going to take this all out. But I hope you guys enjoy. Well, actually, there's one more part I forgot to put in. There's one last part I need to put in. And that would be you can never go wrong with a knife. So if you're in a zombie apocalypse, if you're in a zombie apocalypse, or a fake one, or humans versus zombies kind of game, and you have you know nothing, or you ran out of ammo, you can simply run up to the guy and just knife him in the head. Simple. Whoa. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, that is it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my cousin classes for nerf. S uh, hold on, seven. Eventually, I can't. I can't do that, so I'm gonna have to, you know, lift my foot up and go, and I can go up to 15. But that would be pretty hard and kind of stupid. But you know, oh well. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys understand the video. This is me, Nerf Gun Reviewer 331, signing off for today. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My, like I said, my custom classes for Zombie Apocalypse, Crossbow, and. Um, Toy shotgun, or toy uh, repeater. Before, also before I get off, um, there is a, there was a next generation toy shotgun. I'm gonna try and find that next. Had I think it had shells and darts, but it it would, like looked and sounded like a real not sounded like a real gun, real shotgun, but it looked like a real shotgun. Had the same darts and everything. Is probably this, but it looked really cool, so I'm gonna try and get it. So. Wish me luck on that one. See you guys later. Oh, whoops. Okay, bye.